Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Yuri? I'm well, teacher. Good. I'm doing okay, thank God. How was your day? Um, my day was normally. Normal, good, very good. What about you, Kenya? How was your day, Kenya? Hi, teacher. How are you? My um, day was a little hard. Okay. Because we have to finish a lot of things. I before imagine. Of vacation. Yep. Yep. That's yes. normal in, in many companies. People, before they go on vacation, they need to cover different responsibilities. Right. William. Yes, mm -hmm. Good. William Perez, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Mm, so far, so good, teacher. Excellent. Are you in your house or are you in your work? Mm. In my house. Good. Very good. Francisco, how are you today? Hi, teacher. I am fine. And you? I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your day? Was interesting. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Okay, very good. Andrea Vasquez, how are you today? Andrea, Andrea. Good evening. How are you? Um, pretty relaxed. Good, good, nice. Ruben, how are you? Fine, teacher. Did you have a nice day? Yes. Okay. I have a nice day. Okay, very good. What about you, Moises? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, in this moment, I'm working. Well, you're, you're at work? Yes. What time do you finish work? Uh, at 10 p.m. Okay. And they give you permission so you can connect to the class? Uh, <clears throat> this moment is my, my time, the diner. Your dinner? Dinner. Okay. Good, good. All right, um, let's begin. Welcome back. Thank you for being punctual. Thank you for being responsible. Uh, what time is it? What time is it, people? 8.03. 8.03, very good. And what's today's yeah. date? Today's date? Today is Thursday. Yes, today is Thursday. How do you spell Thursday? Thursday? How do you spell Thursday? T H U R D I U. Okay, T H U R S. Uh huh. D A Y. A Y. Good, very good. Thursday. What's the month, class? What's the month? April. 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 How do you spell April, Moises? The spell. The spell yeah, how is, do you spell April? The spell is A E R A I L. Good. I L. Capital A or lowercase? What? Capital A or lowercase? Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Carlos? I'm fine, teacher. Thanks. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Okay. Finishing yeah. up another day. Ah, thanks, God. Yes. When is your vacation, Holidays. Carlos? 
hard when days. When is your vacation? Huh? When Sorry? is your vacation? Do you yeah. have a Tomorrow, Friday is the last day of work. Good, good. Then yes. uh, until the next Sunday. Okay, until the following the Sunday. The next following. Okay, after, good. Uh -huh. After the vacation. Yes, after vacation. Vacation, vacation. Vacation. Yes, vacation. Okay. Okay, good. So yes, yeah. today is Thursday, April 7th. 2022 welcome back let's invest uh, another session for your life skill training what is life skill people what's the meaning of life skill life skill life skill life skill uh-huh anybody what's a life skill habilidades para la vida Exactly. Very good. Habilidad de la vida. Thank you, Alex. Yes. So English is not a subject. English is a life skill. Give me a second. Sorry. This dog literally eats everything, everything. He eats food, he eats toys, he eats ornaments, he eats everything. So we have to be careful with this dog that we have in the house. All right, so remember life is not a subject. Life, I mean, uh, English is not a subject. English is a life skill. English is a life skill. Okay. So welcome back. Thank you for being punctual. Um, what topics did we cover yesterday? What topics did we cover yesterday? The trainings. Trainings, yes, very good, trainings. Can you mention one example of training, Judy? First aid training. Yes. First aid. Yes. Customer service. Customer service too. Yes. Okay. What's what's what do you do in a first aid training? What is the function of a first aid training? Primero auxilio. Exactly. Save life. Save lives, save lives or help another person help. reduce danger or risks. Yes. Okay, good. What about customer service? What is customer service? Servicio al cliente. Uh -huh. And what do you do with servicio al cliente training? Customer service, no. <laughs> okay, yes, but what do you do in customer service? What do you learn? Learn to deal um, with the clients. Yes. Learn, the people around. Yes, learn what to do with the clients. Yes. And explain how do you have to attend the, the clients. Yes. Exactly. You learn how to receive, how to speak with clients. Uh, let me write this here. Do you guys remember the meaning of soft skills? What are soft skills? It's right there in the chat. Habilidades blandas. Habilidades blandas, exactly. And what happens in habilidades blandas or soft skills? What do you learn there? Soft skills. ¿Qué aprende ahí en un training para habilidades blandas? Soft skills. Mm -hmm. Do they teach you how to use a computer? 
Moises, I cannot hear you, Moises. Okay, do they teach you how to use a computer in soft skills? No. What do they teach you? Time management. One more time. Time management. Time management. Yes. What else, people? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué son las habilidades blandas, class? ¿Qué se aprende ahí? Ajá. Nadie sabe. ¿Qué son las habilidades blandas? Ahí nos enseñan cómo hablar, en qué tono hablar, cómo reaccionar ante un... I don't know, teacher. Ok, las habilidades blandas, eh, digamos, si le van a enseñar a ocupar una máquina, una computadora, esas no son habilidades blandas. Si le van a enseñar cómo procesar X producto, esas no son habilidades blandas. Habilidades blandas es cómo usted va a interactuar con sus compañeros, con sus supervisores, con sus jefes, con alguien que acaba de llegar nuevo a la compañía. Soft skills, cómo hablar, cómo responder. What to say? Cosas así. ¿Qué pasa si hay dos personas platicando y usted pasa en medio? ¿Qué tiene que decir? What are you supposed to say? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Esa es una habilidad blanda. Exactly. Si usted por error empuja a alguien y ha sido un accidente, ¿qué le va a decir? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Si usted necesita un favor, ¿Cuál es la palabra mágica? Please. Please. ¿Y cuando recibe ese favor? Thank, 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 you. thank you. Exactly. Entonces, todas esas son habilidades blandas. ¿Cómo nos vamos a, a, a comportar tanto de manera de acción como de la forma de hablar cuando estamos en el workplace? ¿Ya? Yeah. Si usted va a una pupusería y se le cae el, eh, el tenedor con el que está agarrando el, el curtido, y usted le pide a la persona que lo está teniendo, me regala otro tenedor. La persona regresa, se lo pone en la mesa sin decirle nada, usted le dice gracias y tampoco le dice nada. What is your impression? What's your impression? O que pida más servilletas. Y se las ponen y no le dicen, aquí tienes, no su orden, nada de eso. No. Nada. O así le gusta que lo traten. Mal servicio. Mal servicio, exactly. Usted puede decir, anda amargado, anda amargada. O no le gusta que hacer algo, ir por un tenedor o, o dar más servilletas. Entonces, todo eso, uh, it's very important to know. Soft skills. Y eso es muy importante para todos ustedes que trabajan atendiendo clientes. El cliente no siempre tiene la razón, porque hay veces que le faltan el respeto a uno y todo, pero sí se merece un trato uh, digno, por decir así. Anyways, any questions about yesterday? Questions or comments about yesterday? No. No questions, no comments. Okay, so let me see. I have 17 people. Una vez más agradecerles por, uh, for being here, for being present. You guys are very brave. You guys are very brave. Y me demuestran que uh, you guys are here because you want to be uh, someone different in the future. Y pues van en el camino correcto. The dog wants me to open the door of the kitchen. ¿Qué le dije? The dog wants me to open the door of the kitchen. Quiere que le abra la puerta de la cocina. Ajá. Porque ahí, ahí tenemos la bolsa de la basura donde va saliendo toda la comida ah. que va quedando y todo. 
y cuando nos descuidamos, ahí está basureando el chuche, entonces. Le da vuelta gato al bote. Cabal, cabal. Y todo con lo que él piense que es juguete, le da vuelta a la tierra, bueno, un montón de cosas. Anyways. So, I'm going to show you. Teacher. Yes. Is that puppy? Yeah, three months. Three months. Oh. Yeah. Con razón. Yeah, it's a puppy. Let me see if you guys can see him. Can you see him there? No. No lo alcancen a ver. No. Okay. Anyway. All right. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to send you an image to WhatsApp. I'm using a different computer. Entonces hay cosas que todavía me cuestan. Uh, what do you call it? To use well. Um, right here. Okay, this one here. And G12. And what's the breed of the puppy? Snow. What? Snow. Snow. Yeah, snow. Why snow? Never. Uh, that's the name. Yeah, snow. It's right the breed. There. Yeah, that's that, no, that's the name of the dog, snow. Okay, okay. The breed, that's a good question. We don't know what breed the dog is. <laughs> <laughs> Many. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a combination. I think he's Maltese with with another one. It's it's a mix. It's a mix. But it's a crazy puppy. Crazy puppy. <laughs> so All it's a press... are... <laughs> Yeah, when they're puppies, you know, all dogs are like that. They're biting yeah. everything, they're barking for no reason. They want you to open the door of the kitchen. <laughs> He's trying to open the door. <laughs> Anyways, did you receive the teacher. image in the, yes? What does it mean show you? Mostrarle o enseñarles. Ah, okay. Yes, Thank you. very good, nice. Let me show you, déjeme mostrarles an image. Uh, I'm going to send you the image to the WhatsApp chat. Can you please confirm if you received it? Can you? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let me create the groups. 19 people. So I'm going to create nine groups. Create. And you will work in pairs. The first section of the image, ¿qué le están pidiendo? What is the mission that they're giving you? Clasificar los verbos. Ajá, clasificarlos como. Ajá. En los irregulares y los, los regulares. Exact. Exact. So, add a room. Here we go. Francisco, Ana Mercedes, good.
gender. Pero es negativo. Uh -huh. Yes, it's negative. Tom didn't, didn't pay color green when he was younger. Sí. Iris, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Pero yes. creo que no me escuchan mis compañeros. Okay, Elsa Merino, can you hear me? Hola, teacher. Sí, pero tengo problemas otra vez de audio. No sé si me escuchan. Sí, la escucho perfecto. Ok. Ok. Uh, let me check. Ok, entonces en ese caso trabajen así solitas. Ok. And we, okay. And we discuss the answers when we go back to the main session. Thank you, teacher. Ok. En la cuarta, sí, no. Helen, who is your partner? Hello, teacher. Who is your partner? ¿Quién es su compañero o compañera? Eh, Margarita eh, Carlos Ok, Margarita y Carlos Can you hear me? Yes, teacher I can hear you Ok, are you yes, working? Teacher. Are you working? Yes, yes. Okay. yes, we are working Ok, very good And number four. Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, teacher. Give me a second. I need to admit a new person. Okay. Are you doing the exercise? Yes, teacher, finish. Okay. All right, let me visit another classroom. Okay. Ah, it is. Um, Sen say. Good job, ladies. Thanks, teacher. Ya lo clasificamos y estamos poniéndoles el pasado. Okay, very good. Ya casi nos vamos al main session. Okay. Okay, give me right here. Eh, clasificar los, los, los verbos que ahí están. Clasificarlos en regulares e irregulares. Ah, ya. Yeah. Yes, only was... classify. Only classify. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Acabo Good evening. Teacher. Yes, acabo de darme cuenta. Don't worry. <laughs> Ahí me agarró la tarde, pero aquí estamos. Okay, very good. Okay, entonces, finish, teacher. You guys are finished? Yeah, finished. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. I'm okay. Start main session.
Hello, Alex. Hello, teacher. Okay, everybody's coming back. Very good. So, uh, when I say the name of the verb, you answer regular or irregular. So, pay attention. Visit. Regular. Regular. Irregular. Okay. Send. Irregular. Clean. Irregular. Regular. 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 Watch. Regular. 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 Listen. Regular. Eat. Irregular. Irregular. Have. Regular. Irregular. 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 Have it's irregular. Play. Have irregular. Yes. Regular. Regular. Go. Irregular. Irregular. Paint. Regular. Regular. Be. Irregular. Irregular. Uh huh. Study. Regular. Regular. Do. Irregular. Irregular. Like. Regular. Regular. Smile. Regular. Regular. Okay. Ahorita se lo voy a le voy a preguntar one by one. Judy, what is the, the past tense of visit? Visit. Uh -huh. Past visited. Visited, very good. What is the past tense of send, tell me? Tell me. Ay, es que se me trabó la máquina. Okay. Hey. Send. Send. Okay. Send. With a T. Uh, Clean. Elsa Merino. Clean it. Clean it or cleaned? Cleaned. Cleaned. Rafael, what's the past tense of watch? The past tense of watch, Rafael? Watch it. Watch it or watched? Watch. Watched. With a T at the end. Watched. Watch. Carmen, what is the past tense of listen? The listen. Listen. Listened. 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 Uh -huh. Carlos, what's the past tense of eat? Carlos Mario? Eight. Eight, yes. Reina Margarita, what's the past tense of play? Players. Played. 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 Con una Played. de al final. Played. Uh -huh. Played. Ruben, what's the past tense of go? Goes. The past tense of go. Goes. The past tense of go. Went. Perdón. Went. Very good. <laughs> what is the past tense of paint? Juan Ricardo Delgado. Painted. 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 Very Painted. good. Helen Barraza, can you hear me? Helen Barraza. Okay, I guess she's not there. <laughs> Ken, uh, what is the past tense of B, uh, Miss Barraza? The past tense of B, can you hear me? Okay, uh, Iris Joanna, what's the past tense of do? Did. Did. Kenya, what's the past tense of like? The past of, tense of, of like. Like. Like it. Liked. 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 Yes. Andrea, what's the past tense of smile? Smiled. Smiled. 
con una D al final. Smile. Una D al final. Smile. Ok. Uh, Moises, what's the past tense of C? Oh. So, the past tense of right, uh, William Perez. William Perez, what's the past tense of right? Wrote. Wrote. Very good. And Rafael Antonio, what's the past tense of break? Broke. 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 Very good. Nice. Okay. Questions about the first uh, activity? No, teacher. No? Okay. In the following exercises, you have to create positive negatives and questions in the past tense. Each exercise is incomplete. Entonces, la número uno dice, yesterday I playing football in the park. It's positive. Entonces, ¿qué deberíamos de poner ahí? Yesterday I played. Ajá. Uh -huh. I played. Very good. Yesterday I played. Y lo mismo va a ir haciendo de la 2 a la 10. Some are positive, some are negatives, and some are questions. Entonces, cuando los pongo a trabajar en pareja, yo espero que estén así uh, conversando. Give me a second. No es de ponerlos a trabajar que los dos o los tres se van a quedar callados, porque para eso lo hacemos así en grupo. La idea es that you interact. Give me a second. The <clears throat> second. All right, let's go.
energías negativas. This meeting is being recorded. We didn't, didn't. watch. Didn't watch. En el, ajá, el verbo, en la forma. My friend. My friend. ¿Quién tiene el televisor cerca? No sé quién lo tiene ahí. Ok, thank you, thank you. My friend. My friend, study. Study. No, no because it is, is negative. The children didn't break. Didn't. Yes. Moises and Reina, are you working? Yes. How are you working? ¿Cómo están trabajando? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Eh, How are you? Fíjese que no, no estoy trabajando porque primero entre tarde no entendí muy bien a lo que íbamos a hacer y el compañero está en el trabajo. Ok. Ah, la, ahorita estamos, ya le digo en qué parte exactamente del worksheet. Estamos en la parte, la última parte del worksheet. Que es donde ahí le indica si es positiva, si es negativa o si es forma de pregunta. Independientemente cual sea, todo tiene que ir en pasado simple. Got it? En la imagen, de, en la imagen que usted mandó al chat. Exacto, exacto. Ok. All right. Good. So, si Moises está trabajando, puede trabajar usted solita. Ya casi yes, no va a terminar el tiempo. Ok, very good. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Hola, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? Fine. Any questions about the exercise? Solo se va a hacer una, digamos, así como está ahí en la referencia, que va a ser una positiva y negativa, y dónde está el... El question mark le indica que tiene que hacer sí. una pregunta, ¿correcto? Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Yes. Ok, let me visit another class. Okay. Como va, William, ya la terminó. <risa> Solo tenía una pequeña. I had, uh -huh. O oh, también se, quiero ver si, si me lo agarra así como. I did. También pueden ser las dos formas, Iris. Pues podemos dejar. Teacher. Yes. In the number six. Eh, Nosotros lo pusimos como una doble respuesta. Lo podemos dejar como I had. O podemos, usar o podemos usar el auxiliar I did have. Uh, sí, sí, sí form. puede poner I did have si la, si la conversación lo amerita. Es decir, si digamos, yo le digo, ah, pero usted no tuvo una liebre eh, cuando era niña. Y usted me dice, sí tuve liebre. Entonces, en ese caso, usted dice, I did have. Pero si solamente lo está confirmando, tenía liebre un conejo cuando era niña, I had. 
H A D, right? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Ya casi nos vamos al main session. Okay, teacher. Okay. Las siete vamos ahora. Okay. Discord y Douglas. Jose Arnoldo and Juan Ricardo, are you working? Our teacher, sí. Sí, teacher. Ok, Estamos. very good. Solo las siete, no, no lo entiendo. Las siete dice... Ah, ahí lo que tiene que hacer es preguntar si ella ya limpió su cuarto. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. Usted está preguntando, dice, y ella ya limpió su cuarto. Ayer estaba muy sucio. Did Choice of question. Did she clean? Uh -huh. Exactly. Did she clean? Did she clean? Did she clean? Did she clean? Yes. Y en cuatro, entonces no sería, did you say? Uh, what, what number? Cuatro. Let me Did check. You send an email? Did you? Yes. Yes, you're right. But Did you send? Did you send? Más. Did you send? Pero repetirlo uh -huh. con cuál otro? No, 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 el did, solo el did decir. Ah, sí, sí, claro que sí. Si es pregunta, se tiene que, por ley, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh... Incluir. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Two more minutes and we go back to the main session. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sure.
Let's wait for the others to come back. Okay, so I'm going to give you the answer of the exercises. Uh, please compare your answers. Si tiene algo diferente a medida que yo voy dando las respuestas, tome nota y después me dice por qué la tiene diferente. A second. Uh -huh. Yesterday, I played football in the park. Played football in the park. My teacher, what's the answer for number two? My teacher wrote, 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 my teacher wrote a book last year. It's very interesting. Number three, Tom, Tom what? Didn't like. Tom didn't like color green when he was yeah. younger. I love color green. What about number four? Number four, anybody? Did, did you send say? an email to your grandma? Yes, did you send an email to your grandma? What about number five? And? Number five. What's we number five, people? Watch TV last night. We didn't watch TV last night. Very good. What is number six? I had. I had. What about number seven? Was she? Not really. Did she? Did she? Did she already? What? Clean. Clean her Clean. room? Clean. It was very dirty. It was very dirty yesterday. What about mm. number eight? Karen? Mm. Karen what? Ate two sandwiches. Yes, Karen ate. Two Eight. sandwiches in the morning. She was hungry. What about number nine? The children broke the window. Mm, it's a negative <coughs> sentence. Didn't. Um, didn't. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Didn't Porque ahí aparece el, el, el maximizer, pero no, no indicaba sí. que era. Uh -huh. Sorry, my bad. Fue culpa mía. So the children didn't break it didn't break the window it was the dog what about number 10 my friend did do studied. studied for the exam yesterday he is nervous now all right questions or comments questions or comments people en la cinco yo lo tenía como Pero a ver, permítame. Ajá, go ahead. We were watching TV. Ok, aplica si estuviéramos viendo el pasado continuo. We weren't watching TVs last night. But right. since we're doing simple past, we didn't watch TV last night. Ok. So your answer is good if you're using the past continuous. Yes. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, when, when we talk about the simple past, we have to use did. Yes. Any other questions or comments, people? Okay, I'm going to take attendance. Voy a silenciarlos a todos para que me escuchen bien. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. 
activate the lamp. Rafa Barrientos. Present. Good. Iris Cañas. Iris, Iris. Iris Cañas. Present, teacher. Okay. Reina Martinez. Reina Martinez. Recuerde que lo silencia todo, así que puede, para que por si acaso están diciendo present, tiene que activar su micrófono. Reina Martínez, are you here? I guess not. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Calderón. Present teacher. Good. Andrea Vázquez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Present. Good. Maricela Velázquez. Maricela, Maricela. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Present. Moises Rodríguez. Moises. Thank you. Helen Barraza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ruben Campos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Noemi Vasquez. Noemi Vasquez. Okay, she's absent. Elsa Merino. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Judy Cuellar. Present teacher. Carlos Avendaño. Present teacher. Jose Corea. Present. Susana Jiménez. Susana, Susana. ¿Alguien ha oído algo de Susana? Se lleva varios días ausente. Ok. She's absent. William no Pérez. Reportado, ¿verdad? No, no. Present. Ok, good. Juan Delgado. Present, teacher. Present. Present. Mm -hmm. Kenia Ruiz. Present. Thank teacher. you. Delmi Gómez. Present. Good. Francisco Godínez. Francisco, Francisco. Oh, he's having connection problems. And Alex Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. So remember, tomorrow is our last day and we have our final exam tomorrow. So don't be absent. So entonces, Reina Martinez, are you here? Presente. Good, very good. Uh, Susana Jimenez, are you here? No. Noemi Vasquez, are you here? All right. So let's continue. Give me a second. Give me a sec. Okay, can you see my book? Yes, 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 yes. 
Okay, very good. Thank you. So yesterday we were doing some reading. Read the following invitation letter for a training and answer the question. Okay, so nos habíamos quedado acá. I need one, two, four volunteers to read. Can somebody please read the first paragraph where it says, Dear colleagues. Major. Go ahead, please. Center Marcella cordially invites you to the annual accountants training workshop to be held on April 4th, 2018. The event will take place at the Grand Hotel. Thank you very much. Another volunteer for the second paragraph. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. The theme for this year's workshop is conflict resolution. A professional speaker will be conducting all the workshops. Full participation is appreciated. Thank you very much. Another volunteer, please. Another yes, volunteer. Yes, Another volunteer. Yo, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Juan Ricardo. The center Marcel called me. No, the, no, no, no. The third paragraph. The third paragraph. Iba leyendo la lectura, Juan Ricardo. The, the, uh -huh. the program, the program will from and I to one. The bright instead of lines you probably. Reconfirm what you I can do. But to say, a robot on my put to come by March. Mr. Uh -huh. How do you say 2018, Juan Ricardo? <laughs> 2018. Uh -huh. 2019. Okay. All right. So listen carefully. The program will run from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Breakfast and lunch will be provided. Please confirm your attendance to Peter Salas at jmail.com by March 15, 2018. Yours, Peter Salas, Center Marcel. Okay, any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Workshop, workshop. Workshop, taller. Conflict, solution. What is it? Conflict. Conflict resolution. Resolución de conflicto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Alguien más? People, people. Okay, I guess not. How many to minutes? To be held. To be held. Que se llevará a cabo. Se, se llevará a cabo, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Good. Anybody else, people? How many minutes do you need to answer the five questions? Only. Only. You see. Where is the word? ¿Dónde está la palabra esa, Juan Ricardo? Okay, ¿cuántos minutos necesitan para responder las five questions? Five? Five minutes? Five minutes. Okay, go ahead, five minutes. How often the training take place? Five minutes.
Hello, teacher. Excuse me. Yes, Rafael. Eh, mandó a grupo. Excuse me. No, no. Cada quien está respondiendo las cinco preguntas según lo que entienda de la lectura. Ok, thank you. Yes. Finish. Two more minutes, people. All right, let's check the answer. How often does the training take place? Once a year. Once a year. Once a year. When is the training taking place? The event will take place on April 4th. April 4th. April 4th. Very 2018. good. 2018. Right, 2018. Who's conducting the workshop? Um, Marcel, 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 Marcel. Okay, but when we say who, who is conducting the workshop? A professional speaker. A professional speaker. Oh, professional. Yes, pero también se puede uh, tomar como Centro Marcel. Okay, what's the topic for the training held this year? Conflict okay. resolution. <clears throat> right. And what's the request made at the end of the letter? To confirm the attendance. Yes, to confirm the attendance. Aquí les voy a poner uh, en el chat un acronym. ¿Quién se acuerda que es un acronym? Acronym. 
acronym significan siglas. So an acronym is a word that we use. Huh? Just like is. Exactly. Guys. Exactly. Exactly. So an acronym is a word that we use every day, but every letter has a meaning. So RSVP. Alguien que me averigüe qué significa RSVP. Mm -hmm. Perdón, ¿cuál, teacher? RSVP. El que les acabo de poner ahí en el chat. RS... It's a Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Mm, not exactly. No. Este está relacionado a la última que le dice. What is the request made at the end of the letter? ¿Cuál es la respuesta de la cinco? Ajá. Class. Please confirm your attendance. Okay. RSVP es un acrónimo en French. Respond as possible. Re yeah. Respond yeah. soon as possible. Right. ¿En qué idioma está el RSVP? Francés. En francés. Entonces, en buen salvadoreño, ahí te estaré diciendo, responde si vos podés. Mm. Y eso es exactamente lo que le están pidiendo. ¿Does anybody speak French? ¿Alguien habla francés acá? ¿De ustedes? ¿No? No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Pero RSVP, you receive an invitation. Uh, any invitation. Al final de la invitación le van a poner RSVP. Ahí le están diciendo, please confirm if you can come. Please confirm if you can come. Okay, questions about the reading. Questions about the reading, people? No. Okay, so let's go to the next page. We're on page 48. Y vamos a hacer similar a lo que hicimos en el ejercicio anterior. Lo único que ya nos pedían to classify between regulars and irregulars. Aquí no nos están pidiendo clasificar, sino poner el pasado de cada uno de esos verbos. Son 10. Haga de caso que este es un examen. Y así sin revisar uh, diccionario ni internet ni nada. Mire si puede escribir el past tense of those verbs. Go ahead. Me voy a levantar un minuto, traer agua. Give me a sec. I'm back.
challenge yourself, challenge yourself. All right, let's do it. Uh, what's the past tense of meat? How do you Met. say nos conocimos hace cinco años? The past tense of meat, people? Nadie tiene el past tense of meat. Meat. Met. 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 Yes. Yes. Met. Yes. So how do you say nos conocimos hace cinco años? We met. We met. Uh -huh. Five years ago. Five years ago. Very good. What is the past tense of have? Have. 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 How do you say tuvimos una reunión? We have. The meeting. We had a meeting. The past tense of speak? Spoke. 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 How do you say hablamos de diferentes temas? I spoke the different Wait. topics. About to topics. topics. So we, we spoke, spoke about different topics. We spoke about different topics. Go. Went. 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 How do you how do you say fuimos a un parque nacional? I went to the park. We went to the went. national park. We went to a national park. We went to a national park. Do? Did. 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 How do you say hicimos diferentes cosas? I did different, we did different we did. things. We did tasks. different things, right. Uh, right? Wrote. 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 How do you say you escribí un libro hace seis meses? I wrote a book. I wrote a book. Uh -huh. Six months ago. Six months ago. Six months ago. Exactly. 
send. 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 How do you say te envía un correo? How do you say te envía un correo? I sent you an email. I sent you an email. Read. 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 La pronunciación, pronunciation, is exactly the same as color red. But the spelling is different. So red. How do you say leí el periódico hoy? I read the newspaper today. I read the newspaper today. Very good. See? So. So. so how do you say vi a tu hermano con alguien más? I saw your brother I with somebody else. Brother. Okay. I someone. saw your brother with someone, someone else so. or with somebody else. Yes. And run. 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 How do you say corrimos cinco kilometers? We ran five kilometers. We ran five kilometers. Ran five kilometers. Los que están callados sin decir nada, pues espero de que sea por otros motivos, no porque no sepa decir lo que les estaba preguntando. Questions or comments? Yo estoy, yo estoy terminando, teacher. Ok. Questions or comments? Por eso no les he contestado. Ok. Ok. So, uh, part two. Use the past of be to create sentences and or questions. En la número uno se tiene que poner, yo estuve en el cinema anoche. En la número dos, usted tiene que preguntarse, ¿estábamos nosotros en el café cuando llamaste? Uh, ¿Estuve tarde? Uh, ¿Estuvieron ellos tarde para la entrevista? Uh, ¿Cómo es que se llamaba él? Y ahí le preguntan en las seis, ¿Por qué estaba usted tarde? ¿Por qué estuvo usted tarde? Are you okay or do you need repetition? ¿Estamos bien? Yes, so, okay, yes, so yes, okay. ahí construye según la información que le han puesto en los paréntesis. Uh, si es a pregunta o si es a positiva. Go ahead, please.
All right, uh, volunteer for number one. I was at the cinema last night. Very good. I was at the cinema last night. Very good. Thank you, Delmi. Number two, someone else, another volunteer. Were we in coffee when you called? Very good. Were we in a cafe when you called? Very good. Number three. Was I, was I be late? Yes. Was I late? Good. Number four. Were they late for the interview? Were they late for the interview? Very good. What is number five, people? What was his name? What was his name? Very good. And what is number six? Uh huh. Number six. Why were you late? Why were you late? Why were you late? Were you? Yes. Why were you late? Very good. Any questions in the second exercise, people? No. So we go to the very last exercise of the book. Nos vamos al ultimito uh, ejercicio del libro. Please go ahead and do it. Part three, unscramble the words to create sentences. Ahí lo que vamos a hacer, lo vamos a reordenar para poder hacer a, a good sentence. Go ahead. En la número dos, la letra A no encaja en ningún lugar, así que elimine la letra A. Thanks, teacher.
All right, volunteer for number one. The conference was not fun. Good. The yeah. conference was not fun. Very good. What about number two? Someone else. Uh-huh. Someone else, number two? The longest speech of what the for a room. Okay, what's the answer for number two? We waited a long waited. time until the speaker arrived. Okay, we waited a long oh. time. Yeah, pero entonces si llegaba, si llevaba el A, I'm sorry. So we waited for a long time until, until the speaker arrived. All right, very good. My mistake, my bad, my bad. Okay. Repeat please, teacher. Sure. Can you please repeat the answer? The one that gave the correct answer, can you please repeat it? We waited for a long time until the speaker arrived. We waited. Pero time, no es time en, en las palabras que ponen ahí. Sí, entonces sí, tiene razón. Entonces, pero sí está bien con time, aunque no está ahí, pero por eso es que le decía que no tenía la A. Entonces usted dice, we waited for long until the speaker arrived. Pero está bien como la dijo el compañero, si usted le pone a uh, time, puede decirse así. So the two options are good. And number three, what is number three, people? People, people. Number three. Mm -hmm. Somebody, anybody? Say and watch a TV for Okay, someone else? Ajá. Uh -huh. What's number three? Nadie la tiene? Okay. That's going to be your homework for tomorrow. Esa va a ser su última tarea para el día de mañana. Questions or comments, people? Questions or comments? Teacher, eh... Yep. Y no tuvo respuesta para la pregunta que no sale mal en la plataforma. No me, no me han respondido. Espero uh, que lo hagan el día de mañana. Porque sí, sí está, está, está raro que ni aún así se los, se, los, se los acepte. ¿Hay alguien que lo ha escrito de una forma diferente y se lo ha aceptado? ¿Alguien en la clase? La, la pregunta con la que coincidían algunos de sus compañeros? No, teacher, ya le di bastante vueltas y nada. Ok. Ok. Yeah, so hopefully. Hopefully. Ok. Uh, so remember, tomorrow we have the final exam. The first hour is going to be for extra practice. Ahí usted puede todavía uh, preguntarme lo que usted ha uh, por alguna razón no ha entendido, necesita más práctica. That's going to be from 8 to 9 p.m. And then the final exam is going to be from 9 to 10 p.m. Entonces, de 8 a 9 vamos a estar repasando. Eh, aliste sus preguntas. Uh, y de 9 a 10 vamos a hacer la, la prueba. Final exam. Y, que, y siempre vamos a realizar la encuesta. Yes. Claro que sí. Sí, eh, vamos a, quiero ver esa encuesta exagerando, exagerando en, en cinco minutos creo que la hace, pero quizás me voy a detener a las 8.30 para que lo hagamos así despacio con tiempo. Ok, teacher. Yes. Any other questions or comments, people? 
No. Okay. So how many tenses did we cover? How many tenses did we cover from uh, four weeks ago? Desde hace cuatro semanas, ¿cuántos tiempos gramaticales cubrimos? Mm -hmm. Yes, people. Simple past. past. Present, present progressive. Simple past, present progressive. Past present, continuous. Past continuous. Past continuous. In simple present, more present simple. Yes. What's the difference between simple present and present simple? A ver quién se acuerda. ¿Cuál fue lo que le dije que era la diferencia? The difference between simple present and present simple. Present simple. El. Simple present is the name of the American version. Present simple is British. Hacen referencia exactamente a lo mismo. Lo único que el nombre va al revés. Simple present is the American version. Uh, present simple is the British version. So we're going to stop right here. Once again, por favor, desen un aplauso a ustedes solo. Se lo merecen muchísimo, muchísimo. Terminaron. Congratulations. Yo sé que no ha sido fácil. Uh, from 8 to 10. Ya es ahora. Ya todo el, todos uh, vamos queriendo buscar descansar. So thank you very much. We continue tomorrow. Same place, same time. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. 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 Dios bendiga a todos. Bye, bye. Thank you. Feliz noche. Thank you, Juan Ricardo. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you.